Serb brings order to a busy team inbox. Let's build a customer satisfaction survey process using Serb, Smartsheet, and Zapier. First, log into Smartsheet and create a new blank sheet with web form. We're going to call the new sheet Customer Satisfaction Survey. Rename the first default form field to Ticket Mask. Mark the field as hidden. Rename the second default form field to Email. Also mark this field as hidden. Delete the default date field. Add a new field of type drop down list and name it satisfaction level add the values satisfied neutral and dissatisfied click the ok button drag the satisfaction field into the form click on it change the display type to radio buttons vertical and mark it as a required field create a new text field named comment and click ok Drag it into the form, click on it, and change it to a multi aligned text box. Now save the form. Edit the first default column, and name it Ticket Mask. Edit the second default column, and name it Email. Delete the third default date column. And that's it. Click the Web Forms tab at the bottom, then click the Preview link. In Smartsheet, you can set the default value of form fields through URL query string parameters. Here we are setting the ticket mask and email address to test this functionality. Our bot in Serb would automatically do this for us. When a customer clicks the survey link, they are prompted for their satisfaction level and an optional comment. If you view the HTML of the form, you'll see our mask and email address are stored in the hidden fields. The customer fills in the visible parts of the form, and then clicks Submit. This adds a new row to Smartsheet, with the mask, email, satisfaction level, and comment. Let's add a custom field set in SERB to store these survey responses on the appropriate tickets. Add a new field set. Named customer satisfaction of type ticket and owned by Serb. Now add a field of type pick list named satisfaction level with our three values from earlier. Add a second custom field of type text multiple lines named comment and save changes. Next, we need to enable the webhooks plugin. Click Setup in the top right. Then in the Plugins menu select Plugin Library. Type Webhooks in the Quick Search box. Then click the Download and Install button. Select Enable. Then click Save Changes. Now we need to create a bot to send the survey links and listen for the webhook responses. Select bots in the search menu. To save time, I've already created a bot with the behaviors we need. Let's look at how it works. We use three behaviors. Custom ticket behavior. Webhook received. Record changed. Let's look at record changed first. This watches all ticket records for changes. It checks if the changed ticket is being set to the closed status from any other status, and that it doesn't have a customer satisfaction response. When this is true, it sends a new email message to the person who opened the ticket. With the subject, how did we do, and message content that includes a link to our Smartsheet web form including default values for the mask and email hidden fields. That's all we need to send out a survey for every closed ticket. The custom ticket behavior is rather simple. It has two public behavior variables, satisfaction and comment. It copies these variables into the satisfaction custom fields on a ticket. The webhook received behavior runs every time someone fills out our satisfaction survey. It has one private behavior variable to hold the ticket referenced by the mask field in the form. 
First it checks if all the needed fields were given. The ticket mask, email address, and satisfaction score, if they're all there, it returns true. Next it finds the corresponding ticket for the given mask. It keeps only the first result, and replaces the variable with that value. The next decision makes sure that a ticket was found. For extra security, this could also check if the email address matches. It then runs the custom ticket behavior on the matching ticket to set the custom fields using the form values from the Smartsheet webhook. That's it for the bot. Now we need to create a webhook URL for Smartsheet to use. We'll call it Smartsheet Neuro, and send it to our bot on the catch Smartsheet webhook behavior. Let's copy that webhook URL to our clipboard. Registering a webhook with Smartsheet through its API can be a little complicated. So let's use Zapier as a shortcut. They simplify integration between services. You can create a free account on their site. Once logged in, click the Maker's App button at the top. Choose Smartsheet as the trigger application. New row is the trigger, save and continue. Click the Connect a New Account button to link your Smartsheet account to Zapier. Save and continue. Choose your survey form sheet. Let it test your connected account. Now choose Webhooks as the action application. Make a post request. Remember our Webhook URL from Serb? Paste it into Zapier. We can see the placeholders from the Smartsheet Webhook that we can send to Serb. Let's send the email address, satisfaction level, ticket mask, and comment. Click continue. Click create and continue. Now let's return to Serb and simulate what happens when a worker receives our survey link. We'll say the old status on this ticket was waiting. Then simulate. We now see the link that would have been sent to the customer when this ticket was closed. Let's copy it. By pasting the link into a browser, we're seeing what our customer would. Let's say they're satisfied, and they have a nice comment. We see their response in Smartsheet. Back in Serb, we also see their response in the custom fields on the ticket. Hooray! A free Zapier account may take several minutes to run your webhooks after each new response. This same process can be used to integrate other customer satisfaction solutions, including those that you build yourself. Try Serb for free at serb.ai.